what's going on everybody welcome back it's your boy Kaleso bringing you guys back an update on the tank and basically this is week number five after adding the frag tank you guys know in the previous video I talk about some issues that I started having with my tank not because I added the frag tank due to two accidents that happened to the tank for those that don't know um, the two accidents that happened was my sump was running dry twice. The first time was because the snail got inside my overflow in my frag tank. I got as the overflow is a PVC pipe. So it clacked the PVC and water came out. So you guys know the sump um, started running dry. The second time it was an error that I did myself, I placed a drip system that I got to acclimate fish and to acclimate corals. I placed it in the back of the overflow and it created a siphon. Also water came back out and um, some ran um, dry again. So those two accidents happened back to back, uh, probably like three days apart. So. It was about 20 gallons of water that I added new to the tank and I don't do water changes to the tank. This is a 27 gallons. So by me doing that massive, basically like a water change to the tank, um, it created some issues for my tank and not for the tank, for some of the corals living in the tank. So the, the corals that basically was suffering was the sores. And a lot of you guys that watched the, the past videos know that some of the zoos were dying, but I think everything is turning back around. At least that's what I'm seeing. Um, why I say that? Because algae stopped growing around the zoos and they no longer seem like they melt on the way. So they, they basically looking better now. Um, like this one right here, if you guys look at the past video, there were almost all of them closed now they opening and this rock right here only the watermelon was open and most of the red ones were closed which is the same one I got down here is the same zoos um, so those were closed also but now you guys can see um, they opening back up so that's a good thing you know the only rock that I did remove from the tank it was the first one that started showing signs um, that they were dying. It was the first rock that I ever um, the, the basically a colony that I created myself placing different zoas on it and it was my my first zoas that I ever bought and that rock is over here And you guys can see they still close um, just those that are open and You know, it is what it is. It's nothing I can do about that. So if the other ones don't want to open, it's nothing I can do about it. You know, all I can do is just wait and see if they come back around. Um, but everything in the tank is doing good. You know, like right now, like I said, the zoas that are left in the tank, they doing good. I did lose some, some of the frags that I placed around here, but not, not a lot. I, I could say that not a lot. So at least, I still got some to stay alive and, and that's a good thing, you know, cause I would have suffered a lot if a lot of them <clears throat> die on me. But that's the good news, you know, they, they coming back around. So hopefully, hopefully the tank gonna come back around and be stable again. But everything else is looking good. You know, if you guys can see all the, all the corals didn't suffer a bit or oh, what happened to the tank, I guess. Um, all that new water was somehow beneficial for them since you know it's all the stuff in the in the salt mix the basically you know if you read the box or the package where they come they tell you all the ingredients um, the salt mix got in so some got the trace elements and, and, and goody stuff that been, is beneficial for the corals so with that being said this is for you guys to see the, you know, if, if, if you go through issues with your tank, just, um, if, if it ain't nothing, um, crazy going on, basically like what happened to me, it was basically, uh, like two errors back to back and basically it was a massive water change to, to a tank that I don't do water changes. So 
that's why it created my tank to be unbalanced. So now, like I said, I just let the tank do whatever it needed, it needed to do, and it, it seems to be paying off. So, so it's are looking good. That's what I want to share with you guys. The only thing that I'm seeing different right now is my Fruit Loops. Um, they got like a little haze, white, like clear white haze around them. You guys can see right there. And I really don't know what, what it is. Um, I've been looking closely to see if there's anything moving in there, but nope, it's just there. So if anybody has any idea what's going on with the Fruit Loops, it's the only one that have that little haze around the, uh, around the mouth. So if anybody got any idea, please leave it in the comment section below. And let me know if I got to worry about it because I don't want to, um, you know, just not pay attention to it. And then it just spread around and kill some of my other zoos. Or because they seem not to be bothered by it, but I don't know. For me, that's not normal. So. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys know what it is, let me know in the comment section below, please. I appreciate it. But everything else in the tank is doing good, man. Everything else is doing good. Um, all the rest of the corals are loving life. This one, the green star polyps, I don't know. Lately, it's been closed. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, um, you know, my nutrients level is too low. Um, I really don't know what, what, what it is, you know, some days it's open more than others, so I don't know. I really, I really don't have no clue right now what's going on with that one, but everything else is good. So, you guys can see everything else is looking amazing. I love it. I, I love this tank. This is my pride. Um, ever since I started reefing, this, basically, this is... Uh, tank that I wanted to have or something that looked like this, you know, full of corals and, and Just beautiful. This is beautiful Just to have this at your house So, But there you guys have it. This is uh, a quick update for you guys So you guys know exactly what's going on in the frag tank it ain't much going on You know, I did remove a lot of frags from here So I just got a few to survive so I'm just, you know, going with those, let them do whatever they need to do, and that's about it, you know, I'm not planning to get nothing for now, just dealing with whatever is going on right now in the tank, and just go from there. Alright guys, so, like I say, you know, if you guys got any suggestion of what's going on with the Fruit Loose, let me know in the comment section below, I appreciate it. Alright, so like always... If you guys haven't subscribed to this page, now is the time to do so. And like always, I see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima. Your boy Carlos is out. See you guys. Thanks for watching.